In this video, I will demonstrate how to design a 0 to 9 cyclic counter using four T flip flops and by application of the present state net state method. Looking at the table, we see that we have a present state and a net state. Now, Q4, Q3, and Q, Q2, Q1 represents the output, the Q output of the four T flip flops, Q1 being the least significant bit and Q4 being the most significant bit. Now, the, the normal binary count follows 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, etc., all the way down to 1, 0, 0, 1. Note that to go from 0 to 1, we go from a present state of 0, 0, 0, 0 to the next state of 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? And to go from 1 to 2, we go from a present state of 0, 0, 0, 1 to 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, to build the circuit, we are required that the flip flops, the T flip flops, would cause the bits, their individual bits, to change to the required one. For instance, to go from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 0, 1, the output of Q1 would have to change from a 0 to a 1. The other bits would remain the same. So there will be no change on Q4, no change on Q3, no change on Q2, but Q1, for Q1, there would be a change. So hence, the input to that flip-flop, the T input for T1 would have to be a 1, because a 1 will cause it to toggle. Okay, let's proceed down uh, from 1, going from 1 to 2. Okay, to go from 1, from 1 to 2, present state is 0, 0, 0, 1. Next state is 0, 0, 1, 0. Note that here now, Q2 would have to change from a 0 to a 1. So therefore, the input, the T, Two input to Q to, to T2 would have to be a one to cause it to toggle. So you can follow the, the argument all the way through and see um, the bits that are required to change, the, the, the T inputs that is required to change to cause the output of its respective flip flop to toggle. Now note we are counting from zero, we, we are designing. We are designing a 0 to 9 cyclic counter. So that means we are counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we go back to 0. So when we reach 9, our present state is 1, 0, 0, 1. But no, our next state is now 0, 0, 0, 0. Because we are going back to 0. That is why it's called a cyclic counter. Now note. For this change to occur, we have Q4 is at a 1, at 9, but it goes to a 0 for, um, for to go to the 0 state. So that means that bit will have to toggle, so the T4 input will have to be a 1. Okay? To go from a 1 on Q4 to a 0 on Q4, you have to toggle, so that would have to be a 1. Now, let's look at Q3. Q3 is at a 0, or Q3 is, remains at a 0, so there's a, a 0 would be on a zero would be on the Q3 input because there's no change. Okay, Q2, Q2 is at a 0, and the next state of Q2 would also be at a 0, so there would be a 0 on Q2 because it is required to remain in the current state. And finally, Q1 is at a 1, Okay, but the next state for Q1 will be at a 0, so a 1 would have to be on T1 to cause it to toggle. Note in the table that the present state is represented by Qs, and the next state is represented by Q dash, and the inputs for the flip flops are, the T inputs are designated T4, T3, T2, and T1. Now, note that after we've reached 9, um, you the other states after nine would be don't cares because we are not going past nine so these would be all don't cares 
Now, if, if you remember from doing the Carano mapping uh, for 16 combinations, right, which would be a 4x4 four four Carano map, the, the dual care states help us to, to minimize our logic. So the next step in designing this cycle counter will be to create, um, use a Carano map for each input. So do you have a Carano map for T4? Enter all those entries into T4 and minimize it and you would get the logic for T4. So you'll create a Carano map for T3, do the same thing, find the logic for T3 and you do the same for T2 and T1. When you're finished, you would have four logic circuits that will be fed into the, the T inputs of each flip-flop. And once it is all connected up correctly, you should get a counter that would count from zero to nine and repeat itself and go back to zero, right? Okay, that is, that is uh, in comparison to the straight, um, straight forward counter that would go from zero all the way from nine and go to hex, a, B, C, D, E, F, and recycle back to zero. Okay, but we want to restrict this counter to count from zero to nine and recycle. Okay, you can design a count, second counter that can go from say zero to six, right? All that would happen is that at the present state here will be, this will be zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, four, six, and the next state will be all zero, 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 zero. And you can design your counter around that. So you can create a second counter.